Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 17 iOS 14 tricks that you probably didn't know existed. These are tricks that are hidden within iOS 14 and a few of them, I believe a couple of them can be found on older iOS versions as well. So I really believe these are useful and you should know and use these tricks on your device. Starting things off with the iMessage app. On iMessage on iOS 14, you know that you can reply to a specific message, basically an inline reply. But how can you do that? All you have to do is just quickly double tap on any message and you will get this pop up where you can of course react to that message or you can actually reply to that message. So this is the inline feature of iOS 14. You double tap on any message and get the ability to reply to that specific message. On the photos app you will have your albums here and each of them has a preview picture basically that's the first picture on each album that will be displayed right here but you can actually change that on ios 14. you go ahead open the album and choose whichever picture you want to make the key picture for that album 3d touch on it and tap right here make key photo and then that picture will be made the key photo like the thumbnail of that album if you're on Safari and have a bunch of tabs open, you know that you can swipe like this of course to go to the top ones, but the old trick also works on the tabs on Safari. Just tap right there at the top and it will quickly take you to the first tab on the Safari app. As easy as that, you don't have to scroll, just tap and move to the top. While playing a video on the default player of iOS, you know that you have these two buttons that allow you to go forward 15 seconds or backwards 15 seconds but did you know that you can go forward or backwards faster on a video by tapping and holding one of these so you can see now it will not just skip 15 seconds it will just speed up the video so just like that you can see you can go way faster on the video and not just skip 15 seconds on the files app on iOS 14, now you can convert any image into a PDF file. So any image that you have saved, all you have to do is just sweep the touch on it and you will have this button that says create PDF and you can create a PDF file out of that image. Also, there is a very easy way to rename files on iOS 14 with the new interface on the files app. You just tap on any name right there and you will be able to actually go ahead and rename that file. So just like that, just tap right there on the name and you will be able to easily go ahead and rename any file. On the widgets panel, of course, you can have the old style widgets and the new ones right here. But did you know that you can actually easily go ahead and rearrange these? All you have to do is just tweak the touch on one of them and move it around. And just like you do with the icons on the home screen, you can do the same here with these widgets. As easy as that, you can go ahead and rearrange any one of them. If you're playing a video on the picture in picture mode on iOS 14, you know that you can hide it anywhere you want, of course, if it's interrupting you something on the screen. But you will see this arrow right here. And if that is still interrupting you, you can still move it around. So you can see right here, you can place it any part of the screen just by dragging it and just releasing it anywhere you want. You don't have to put the video here to bring it down or something like that. You can just move the arrow anywhere you want on the screen of your iPhone. If you have apps on your device that you have uploaded on iOS 14, then it's very easy to reinstall them quickly on your device. You don't even have to open the App Store or the Settings app. All you gotta do is just go to the App Library and search for that app. So it will show right here and you can see it will have this little indicator which shows you that that app has been uploaded. What you do, you just tap that little indicator right there and you can see it will re-download the app back on your device. A new feature on iOS 14, which was quite big when it was released, is sound recognition. Basically, it will listen for different sounds, recognize them, and give you a notification once it hears those sounds. Did you know that you can add a toggle for sound recognition to the control center, and by 3D touching on it, you will be able to enable and disable sounds to listen to. So you can see here have all the different sounds, and you can go ahead and enable or disable them from here. Now, of course, this allows you to enable or disable sound recognition but it also allows you to basically edit these sounds by 3d touching on that toggle 
on iOS 14, when you go to mark up something, you will have a ton of different ways here to pick a color. You have the color picker, you have the grid here, spectrum sliders, you can add, enter right here a hex number. And of course, once you have found a color that you need, you can tap the plus button in order to save that color. But if you have like a ton of these colors saved here and you want to remove some of them, what you got to do is just go ahead tap and hold on one of them and you will be able to delete those colors from the list of different colors that you have saved here. Now the easiest way to delete apps on iOS 14 is doing it from the app library. If you do that from the home screen, it will show you like a couple of pop-ups. You will have to follow a few steps in order to completely delete an app. But if you go to the app library, you can do that exactly like you did on iOS 13. Just tap the X button and delete the app. But how to go into the edit mode on iOS 14 on the app library. Just tap and hold on any blank space like this. And of course you wanna go out, you can again tap right there to go back out of the app or tap right there to exit the edit mode. And if you want to delete an app, you can see how easy that will be. You tap the X button and you will have the delete button right there, just like on iOS 13 without asking you whether you wanna move it to the app library or delete it completely. On iOS 14, on group conversations, you can set a profile picture for that group. So by default, you will have those little circles right there that show you the group pictures, so the pictures of the people that are within that group, but you can just tap right there. It will show you the I button, and then just tap right there on change, and you can use like any of the emojis that you want as the picture for that group. So you can see right here, you can choose the style, click done, and you're good to go. You have a new profile picture, for your group. You can also use the camera to take a picture, load any picture from the camera roll, or just enter letters right there, which is like the default of iOS. And just like that, you can of course enter a name for the group, click done, and now you have a new profile picture for that group conversation. Now, as you can see right here on iOS 14, now we have an icon for the magnifier, which is now a standalone app, and it's really cool. It has been updated with a lot of new features, but that's not enabled by default. You will need to go to the settings app, go to accessibility, go to magnifier, make sure you enable it right here. Then you will get the icon on the home screen of your iOS 14 device. Now, by going to accessibility and scrolling all the way down here to audio and visuals, you can also change the balance of the speakers of your iPhone. So left or right, if you prefer left more or right more, you can go ahead and change that using the slider. So if you have like an iPhone with a notch, which has like two speakers, one at the top and one at the bottom, then you will notice this more. If you use it on landscape, you will notice the left and the right, how it changes these basically the way the sound gets out of your device is really, really cool. You can go ahead and experiment with this and see how it will change the way you hear something out of your iPhone. Now, if you're using the Translate app from Apple, then did you know that you can also go ahead and translate while your device is offline. All you have to do is just tap right there on one of the languages and scroll all the way down and it will show you a list of different languages that are supported for offline translation. You go ahead and tap right there the arrows and then it will go ahead and download those languages so that you can basically translate even though your device might not be connected to the internet. So that is it for this video guys. These are 17 hidden tricks of iOS 14 that you probably didn't know existed. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you will learn something new with this video and I will see you guys on the next one.